to go adventuring, to go exploring, uh, seeing different places and different things and different people. Um, and one of the main countries that I'm going to go exploring is is the US. And for Christmas, I was given this rather wonderful gift from this um, Big Mac to the US, which was framed. I now have on my wall um, to kind of help me plot and plan where I would go and be able to sort of see different places and be able to sort of plan out a decent buy route. Now I haven't got everything confirmed completely, there's still some places I think I want to add to the list, uh, but I thought I would take you through um, my initial places of interest that I'm going to go to and that I'm looking at um, today for some time. So we have these uh, little pins here, these little flags, in which we're going to put into each place. So we'll take a little to start on. And the first place that I'm going to, which you may know because I've talked about it, is New York. It's incredibly detailed and it's got loads of different places marked down on there. Can't actually quite see where Brooklyn is on that. So, for the time being, I'm just going to put it, well, put it in the cat fields. We'll just stick it in. be landing somewhere in New York. I'm not entirely sure of the definite where. That's me. I think at the minute it's concrete. I'm still very much in the planning stage, but these are just places of interest that are on the list. So, New York. Now another possible place of interest after New York is going to be all the way here in Chicago. It's somewhere where I always fancy it going. My original plan was to rent a car and drive these places, but I've looked into that, and with the rental fees, the gas, insurance, it's going to be kind of expensive, especially for long stretches of time. Maybe in certain places I'll rent a car for a little bit whilst I'm in that place. Um, but I don't think the idea of getting a car from one place and then driving to one of these different places is going to be too feasible, unfortunately. I don't have that much money, but it would be nice still. As I said, maybe in some places I will rent a car one day. Um, at the moment the idea is to stay in each place. 
this one up to about a week to a couple of days or maybe in some places over a week it depends all depends on money unfortunately that is um that is a key factor here okay so in chicago and the image is not definitely set in stone so my zigzagging is not just written down in pencil with a little bit of inked and definitely it, but for Chicago I would quite like to go down Florida is, for all intents and purposes, a very touristy place for the UK, particularly Orlando, because it's Disneyland, and, or Disney World, or whichever one is there, and such, but I wanted to go to Miami for a different reason, and I want to go and see and stay in Little Havana. I've always been interested in sort of Cuba and the lifestyle and culture of Cuba, but with um, the, shall we say, strained relationship that the US has with Cuba, although it's mm, not as bad as it seems to be, um, I don't really want to, shall we say, risk any re-entry problems if I jump from the US just after a couple of weeks into Cuba and then back again. Um, that may raise suspicions, even though I'm going simply purely for touristy reasons and just to look around and see stuff and steep myself in that world. Um, I can imagine people would have questions as to <laughs> why I would go and what I would do. So, to avoid that hassle, I want to go down to Little Havana for a little bit. So it's kind of quite a leap so far. So we're starting New York and possibly Chicago. Chicago as a city is very great. I don't know if that's definite or not. Um, and then down to this thing on the map here and if we can move over and we can see maybe I do go up to Burbank but there's a little place in Texas called Kermit which I thought was quite cute and which is quite, quite nice uh, I've been to Texas I want to come back to that soon but um, Miami I wanted to go I haven't let you follow my try to slow you on with the camera because I'm holding it. Which is a bit tricky to multitask. I'm really not that very good at multitasking apparently, but I'm trying. Um Nashville is the next stop that I want to make. Um I'm not a huge country music fan in in, in the least, but Again, I'm interested by the sort of culture of that, and I'm interested in seeing like the honky tonks and different bars, and I want to go down to music row and there's different places in Nashville that I want to go to. Um, when I was writing the book, I wrote um, Nashville into the book at one point, and it, the research I did it caught my interest. So uh, I definitely want to go and see what it's like in the flesh. So from Nashville, I then want to go down to Winnipeg, New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans is somewhere which for the last couple
that he has an intrigue in. Um, Debbie Drinkwitz, Love of Jazz, which is the very concept of the first quarter. Um, it's History of Voodoo. <laughs> Jazz funerals. He just seems very much a place that seems to thrive on on life. It seems very fit, and it's another place that I wrote into the book that I want to see myself. So New Orleans is a definite place. Pretty much any town. It just seems such an interesting place. It's just so steeped full of life and just really vivacious and vibrant and just full of personality. The next stop after New Orleans is where we head over into Texas. And Specifically, we can find that we're way ahead of the snap of the wheel. Here we go. There's a few places I want to go into in Texas because it's such a big state. Like I would like to go to San Antonio and Houston. But my mainstay, I think, in Texas going to be Austin, because for several reasons. One, it's the home of South by Southwest, which unfortunately I can't get to, but hopefully next year I will be able to do that, be able to go back. Um, so I guess maybe this is just like some, some reconnaissance for scouting mission. <laughs> um, but Austin uh, also is where Richard Linklater's short slide cap. Um, which is a huge inspiration on me, just a huge influence. I love that film and I love what it showed can be done with such a minimal concept and just characters and dialogue. Um, and also, you know, their sort of motto is keep Austin weird. And that is just like a magnet to me. Because again, it just seems so full of character and so full of life and strange, interesting um, things and people and places and events and stuff. And it just, it just seems like I, I can imagine me feeling very much at home there because of just its very nature. So I'm very much attracted to that idea. I think it would be a rather cool place to go. So. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And the last stop that I want to make, I don't have any more flower cards with me, so I'm just going to point over to it. The last place I want to go to, the last state, is California, and in particular, two places really. Uh, I'm going to LA, and some of the surrounding areas, maybe like Santa Monica, um, and the other place is San Francisco. And that's where I want to sort of end stay in the US. I'm thinking actually maybe Austin to San Francisco first and then LA because I'm planning on flying out of LA with um, hopefully enough money to uh, head out all the way off the map there to Japan for a week or two. And then from there, I don't know, I haven't got that far ahead. Um, yeah, that's a very loose outline of my, my plan. I 
I'm gonna have to do not to get the cabinet as well, but again, it's money. Maybe if I have enough money, I can perhaps come back to the cabinet for a little bit. That would be nice, I would say. I would say so. Um, but yeah, and there's lots of places that I'm missing out. Um, and maybe this is your time to sell me on places that I've not even touched on in my sales estate. Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, Minnesota, Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, of course Washington, and Oregon. There's so many places that I'm not going to get to see, but maybe this is your chance to sell me on places. Like, where would you recommend? Because I can always make details. I can always alter things. As I said, this is a step on concrete. Um, where would you go? What would you recommend I see? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous because it's Cape Cod, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm going to be making vlogs. I'm going to be kind of documenting my time away, so I will, um, I'll keep you updated with that. And I will, I will post links as to where you can kind of adventures. Um, and if you're in any of these areas, uh, and you want to meet up, shake hands, have a cup of coffee, have a chat, maybe have a hug, um, <laughs> let, let me know. It'd be lovely to meet you. So yeah, there you go. It's my adventure.